Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I will be walking you guys through a special use case where we will be creating accounts and then contacts underneath those accounts in Titan Web. So let's get started and I'm really excited to show you guys this today. Right? So the very first thing that I want to do is create tabs so that one tab they'll create the account, the other tab they'll create the contacts that are connected to that account, and then the last tab will just be like a finishing message. So let's add in some tabs. Go to containers. You can drop the tab in and resize it so it fits our screen. Let's rename these tabs. Say create account. Create contacts. And call this one finish. Awesome. So the next thing that we will do is drop in the fields that will create the account. So we'll go to input. This is where we have all of our field selections. name these real quick. So this will be account name. Always make sure that you tag it in the metadata too. If you have um, a state field in your Salesforce, then you can assign this dynamically. I'm just going to create two static values for this instance, but you can definitely um, link this to Salesforce and grab your states and countries out of Salesforce. I'll just use two for this example. So the zip code, when we go to the settings wheel, we can scroll down, click configure format, and then get rid of this thousand symbol so that there's no comma in our zip codes. Cool. And then we can also um, realign our fields by clicking on all of them. I'm holding the command um, or you can hold control if you have a PC and then click here and then you can assign spacing for this. Cool. And then I'm going to assign the spacing for this one too so that lines up. Awesome. Now let's create the button that will both Create this account in Salesforce and go to the next tab. I will call it 
next. And then the inner activity, we will configure the on-click action. And the first thing that we will do is push these fields into Salesforce, into the account. Let's label it create account. Account name. We also had street, city, and the reason why we always label it in the metadata is so that we can see um, that the label that we, the tag that we assigned it. And that really helps when you have a lot of different fields that have like the same name and stuff. So you're able to locate exactly what you um, are looking for. All right, so those were the fields that I had on that first tab, and they are now mapped. So I can click Apply, Close. So now I'm going to assign that push to the button, and then we are going to return it to a parameter, which I need to set up. So let's go back um, and configure. Go to the push, mapping, and then we are going to add a variable. Project. We could add a system variable. Let's call it account ID. Apply, apply, close, and then here we can add in that account ID so that when the account is created, we will be having a hidden value returned to this parameter. And we will use that later on to connect the contacts to this account. So now that this is done, we can click apply, apply, Let's go ahead and save it. And so this button will go to, let's make sure it goes to the next tab. I think I forgot to do that. Let's make sure settings wheel, interactivity, uh, configure on click action. So not only are we doing a Salesforce action, we are also doing a system action. We'll click on interactivity, click on the wheel, go down to tab, enable this. This is our tab, it's called tab, and then we'll go to the next tab. Apply, 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 save. So now this page is good. So on this page is where we're going to have a button that opens up a modal, and that will allow us to create multiple contacts. And then once they close out of the modal, then we'll have a table that shows them all the contacts they've created for this account and it will also allow them to edit those fields. So this is really good for the use case of like if you have clients or users who are submitting information and then you want them to be able to review this information, this is the perfect um, way to set that up so that they can create the, the records in Salesforce but also update those records in real time and be able to review it. So let's go ahead and get started with building this section. I'm gonna create a button I'm going to call it add contact, make it pretty big, cool. And then we are going to create a modal go to settings, site elements, drawers and modals we are creating a modal we can click add modal and let's name it create modal awesome let's edit it so now here is this modal that we are creating it's like a little pop-up that's going to open up within our site we can resize it and so this is where we'll create a contact one contact at a time let's add in the carousel container and this carousel container will allow us to create multiple contacts so um, we will drop in the carousel container it's down here
and I actually only have one page so I'm going to edit mapping we'll call this add contact and then I'm just gonna get rid of these other two delete delete apply and then under interactivity I'm going to disallow those arrows so that it is not confusing all right Cool, now I'm gonna drop in the fields for our contact. So I'll do first name. Call this one last name. Oh, I forgot about the metadata. Last name, contact, last name. Cool, and then I'm going to do um, birth date. And then I'm going to add in email. Cool. So that is good. And now we will, let me just resize these like I did before or realign them. Let's do the same spacing. 30 is a pretty good one. It looks good. And then I'm going to drop in a button that will save the contact and close the model. And it's also going to refresh the table that is behind this model that we have not created yet. So let's create the model next and then we'll set up those actions. So, uh oh. delete that retry cool that works all right I'm going to name this button save contact and then whenever it is let's configure the on click action there's going to be a couple rules here so the first rule is that we want to create the contact configure sales first action let's do a push and we're going to do contact create contact mapping so last name will go to last name so we can see contact last name, contact. Oh, I labeled them both last name. Hold on. Let's redo that. Apply, apply. This one should be called first name. That was easy to fix, no problem. And then let's go back into setting that push activity, bigger, bigger, Salesforce action, bigger action, push, create new. So it wasn't even saved. We're good. Contact, create contact, mapping. So the account ID, this is important because we want the account ID to be connected to the account that they set up in, on the first tab. And remember, we, remember that we passed that account ID in that parameter, which is right here. So we want the account ID on the contact 
to be that same account ID that we passed. And that's how we connect the contact to the account. So whenever you're going to create the account, I mean, create the contact, their account ID will equal the account ID that we passed in that parameter. And then their last name will be contact last name, first name will be contact first name. And then we also had email and birthday. Cool. We can click apply, close. Now so we've created the action, now we are assigning the action to the button. So this is where we assign the action to the button. So we're going to create the contact. And we don't need to return the record ID anywhere because we just don't need it later on. So we're going to leave that blank. Um, but we do, okay, actually this is what we're going to do with the first one. The first rule is just creating the contact. And the second rule is going to be closing the modal. So let's do the modal closure. So we'll just go down to drawer slash modal actions. We'll enable the modal. This is our modal that we created. And then um, we will hide it. So this is where we hide it. Once they click that button, we hide the modal. Let's click apply, apply, save. I'm gonna close the modal for now and we are going to create our power table. So go into containers, uh, no, go into table, and then we can drop in the power table. This will be our contact records. And then we can just say account ID equals field, and then the, the account ID, that's the parameter. So this table is going to pull in all of the contacts where the account ID is equal to the account ID that we just created. Basically, it's just going to pull in all the account, all the contacts that we are creating right now, since it's a new account too. So that's what we did here. We can leave this right here. Um, we can leave it as a reference. It is fine. Then this is where we choose which columns we want to see. So I'm going to do full name, and this is out of coming out of Salesforce. So that's why we have a full name here. So full name. And let me allow them to edit it. Add a column, birth date. I'll allow them, allow them to edit it. And we're also going to configure it. So actually, that's not how we do it. Cool. And then also, we are going to do email and allow them to edit it. Awesome, so I'm gonna click apply. Here is our table. So we have a few little cleanup steps to do now. The first thing that I want to do is open up the model with this button. So I'm going to click settings, interactivity, conflict, configure on click action, and then this will be to open up the modal, go to drawer, modal, action, settings, modal, enable, choose your modal that we created, and then we're going to sh do show. So that's good. Now we need to go into the modal and um, update the table when that modal is closed. And the table was not created before, so that's why we need to go back in. So on Whenever we click this button, we are saving the contact, or creating the contact, closing the model, and refreshing the table. We're really running the get. So let's do this. I kind of like that lining up right there. I don't know. I'm just kind of okay. Cool. Let's go to configure on click action. Go into rule two. Configure action. And so not only is it closing this, but we also need it to run the get. Cool. Then we'll apply, apply. Let's save it. And if I'm correct, there is only one more step that we need to do. And that is go to pages, 
Oh wait, we also need to finish do the finish page. We'll do that in a second. Let's go to pages, click on these uh, three dots on home. We only have one page, but we have multiple tabs. And we'll go on configure actions. And it has assigned some every time rules right here. And we just need to delete it because we do not want this to this crew this um power table to be to run its git before we hit save contact on that model. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and you should as well. And then this is fine. There's actually nothing on this. So if you configure action, you can see there's actually nothing assigned here. So it doesn't really matter. We can, you can delete it if you want. You can leave it if you want. There's nothing assigned here. Click apply and save. So one more thing that you need to make sure you do and clean up to make sure that the modal resets every time you click on add contact and create a new one. Um, we are going to go into the modal. Um, edit, and then when we click on save contact, I think this is where we can do our click action. And then on rule two, actually, let's just make it a rule three. And we will configure the action to be affect elements. Activity maybe um, carousel enable. This is our carousel, and we're going to do reset. Yes, that is correct. And then we can click apply, 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 save. And let's preview this again. Right, so we can add contact. We'll add in Becky. Give her a birth date and an email. Save contact. And there she is. And then when we add contact, it is new again. contact and then they are also able to edit the information here yeah so say like maybe he was like wait that's not what my email address is it's this then he can put it in right here and that will update in Salesforce too And then if you want to change the way that the um, birth date looked, then go to settings, edit mapping, birth date, um, configure component. Actually, that's not how it is. Anyways, so thank you for watching and Oh, let's finish this actually. 
So then once they are finished with this, they can edit, they can then click finish, and it says thank you. Let me just make you make sure you see, though, that in Salesforce, it is updating. So we can find our, here we go. Go into our accounts. You can see our Becky Smith account. We have two contacts and James Smith's email is updated. So that is how you will create a tab functionality that can create accounts and contacts that are connected to the account and allow you to have inline editing on that table of contacts that were created. So I hope that this use case really helps you to think outside the box when it comes to your own Titan web solutions and feel free to get a little crazy with this. There's a lot of functionality and a lot of um, options that you have with, with what features we have here. So, so feel free to use this, this example and implement it with your own organizations. Thank you.